Welcome back. For today's piece, I started out with an old piece that I didn't really care about. Um, I wasn't too sure about it, but I really liked that it was very textured. I had some string on the paper and also some very textured paper. So what I did is I took and I gessoed over that and left all of the texture. And then I used a putty knife to scrape paint over the texture. And that's kind of cool. I like the additional texture that that added. So I guess we're talking about texture today. I also used a paintbrush for some of it. I painted on and then I took a wet rag and I wiped off to sort of leave a, a soft texture. And I also used some masking tape. I placed some pieces of masking tape on the painting and painted over that, peeled it off to sort of leave a little bit of a hard edge on the painting. I used a whole combination of techniques. And once I was finished, I had to figure out how to crop it because I wasn't quite certain that the thing as a whole really worked together. I came up with a cropping solution and I wasn't really satisfied with it. So I looked at it again and then I took some of the pieces that I had cropped off and added them back in. And I think I've come up with a final um, solution for the composition that works for me because that nagging feeling that I get in the back of my head or in my stomach when it's not quite working out went away. Um, but you never know, I could look at it tomorrow and change my mind again. So take a look at the video. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for how I could have changed things while I was going through the painting or currently, because you never know, a work of art is never finished, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoy. Thanks.
Hi, I am wearing my favorite art making shirt. It is full of paint and holes because I am seriously in the mood for making art. Are you in the mood for making art and having some fun? Would you like to take a bit of a respite from your everyday life? Then join me this May for three days. I am offering an online abstract art collage class in conjunction with Cheap Joe's. It'll be lots of fun. We'll practice all sorts of cool techniques for coming up with creative ways to make collages and just have a great time doing art. For all of the details, check down below. Now, back to the video.